Like, it's crazy, because you're in the city, but you're not in the city. Nation. Today we are in Sydney, Australia, a place that we never thought we would come because we thought it was way too expensive. So today we're going to show you how expensive it is to stay in and explore Sydney. And now on to accommodation. So here in the city center, if you're on a strict budget, like most of the time we are, you can find like a hostel for about 50 US dollars which is still a little bit more expensive than I think anyone would like it to be. And it's not the best accommodation either. So if you spend like 20 more dollars a night, you can get great Wi-Fi, you can get air conditioning, which is a huge plus because Sydney is very hot and humid. And it's just way more comfortable. You get your own bathroom and shower and you get a lot more privacy. We recommend doing that. We've done both now and we definitely enjoy having a little bit more comfort in our stay. Okay, so now onto the currency conversion. The Australian dollar is a little bit less than the US dollar. So it's about 66 or 67 cents on the US dollar. So one dollar is about 150 AUD. Ten dollars is about 15. Twenty dollars is about 30. And to stay here a night, let's just say $75 a night, is 112 Australian. public transportation system with their local car, it is worth it, especially if you are flying into Sydney's airport. You can get from the airport to the city center for only 17 AUD. That's great. It also includes all transportation on ferries, buses, light rails, metros, everything. And on Sundays, every mode of transportation you can take is only 280 AUD. You can go so far. You can go all the way out to the Blue Mountains only for 280 AUD. It's ridiculous. You can also get Ubers and like cabs and stuff, but I think probably if you're a solo traveler, this will definitely be always the cheapest option. Now because it's only $2.80 on Sundays to ride the ferry, it is Sunday today, and we are riding it to Manly Island. It's across the strait. It's going to take 45 minutes to get there. It's going to be a beautiful scenic ride. As you can see behind me, the Opera House is beautiful today. I am so excited. laid here for an hour and a half. It's one of the best free things to do in Sydney. The locals will tell you, just come to the beach, relax, have a picnic. And now we're moving on to attractions. So a lot of things in Sydney are very expensive to do, like walking to the top of the bridge is $350. If you want to take a sunset cruise on a catamaran, it's like $150. But there are ways around those things. As you guys just saw, we took the ferry, which is a great way to get on the water. You can come to the beach, it's free. There are a lot of free museums. The Royal Botanic Garden is also free. So a lot of free things to do in the city, so you can pick and choose which ones you want to really spend your money on. So now we're heading from Manly Beach over to Watson's Bay. We are really taking advantage of our public transportation card. Thank you, Sydney Public Transportation. We 
just made it to Watson's Bay. I love all these little, almost fishing communities along the shores of Sydney Harbor. Like, yeah. it's crazy, because you're in the city, right? but you're not in the city. It's really nice, and like, the, the houses are nice, mm -hmm. and there's restaurants right on the water, I feel like and you're it in seems a, neighborhood. a lot more quaint and cute. Yeah. Wait, I don't know if this is like, not so crowded just because we're maybe here on like the cusp of the off season, mm -hmm. but this is really relaxing. Edge of Sydney, it is breathtaking over here. We've just been watching the waves crash on the cliff side. It is absolutely beautiful. It is free to come here. You don't have to pay like an entry fee or anything. The neighborhoods that you walk here. through is adorable. It's amazing. But now we're gonna head back into Sydney for some food. Okay, so we've made it to Chinatown, and most of the dishes are between 10 and 16 Australian dollars. There's not a lot that's too much more than that. And if you really want to go out to eat, these are the prices of entrees at a fancier restaurant. They're from 20 to 22, some of them are 24. And then of course you have the fancier entrees like pasta, fish, and the really good truffle burger for 39. We chose this restaurant because it is rather inexpensive. Everything ranges from about five to 15 AUD. And that's a really good price for one meal. grocery store items. So Zach and I are always doing some picnicking while we're in cities like Sydney. These are just items that we always happen to get along the way. We try to get some vegetables. We do a lot of sandwiches, so we're always picking up sandwich material, and we always have snacky type of things on hand. Utilizing the grocery store has definitely helped us save money, and we have been doing a lot of picnics. So that definitely helps us save in the end. So let's go over the expenses of one day in Sydney for two people on a budget in US dollars. For comfortable accommodation with air conditioning and your own bathroom, expect to pay at least 75 US dollars a night. And by utilizing the grocery store, we're able to save a lot on breakfast and lunch. For transportation, if you're coming from the airport, we highly suggest the Opal card. You have to add a minimum of 35 Australian dollars to the card when you first acquire it. But with so many ways to use the Opal card on awesome ferries around the city, it's definitely worth the investment because your transportation expense duels as your entertainment expense. And take advantage of the Opal card to get you to all the amazing beaches and small seaside communities around Sydney. They are truly spectacular. And then dinner, we estimated about 25 US dollars. So overall, for two people on a budget, your total cost will come to 125 US dollars a day, which we think is pretty good. Thank you so much for watching this video. Sydney is a really 
inexpensive place to be if you know how to do it. We expected it to cost more, but if you do your research and you plan right and you eat out right and you maybe do a few picnics, it's a very affordable city there that are you so many definitely free check out. Yes. Where we are going to Melee. Melee. Manly. Well, it's an fair. We're going to Manly across the harbor.